Okay, welcome back. And in the last video, we explored what the spike protein is and why it became the centerpiece of the COVID vaccine strategy. So today we're gonna to dive deeper into what the protein actually does to the body and whether it came from the vaccine or the, the infection itself is irrelevant actually. So if you experience fatigue, brain fog, chest tightness, or strange symptoms that doctors just can't explain, what I'm about to share may finally give you some answers, okay? So the spike protein binds to a receptor on your cells called ACE2. ACE2 has a lot of functions in the body. It helps to regulate your blood pressure. Um, maybe you've heard of ACE2 inhibitors that tries to lower your blood pressure, right? Uh, so those are medications that the pharmaceutical agencies have developed. ACE2s regulate inflammation, blood vessel tone, mitochondrial function. The problem is, or I mean, it's not really a problem. It's a problem for the, the spike protein, but the problem is that ACE2 receptors are everywhere in your lungs, heart, blood vessels, kidneys, gut, brain, you name it, there's ACE2 uh, receptors there. So when the spike protein binds to ACE2, it can be anywhere, right? It can block ACE2 from doing its job and it triggers inflammation. And that's exactly what COVID has been, has been a hyper inflammatory process um, that is manifested in many, many different ways. So that disrupts your body's natural balance. And it's not just theory. This, they've done this in lab studies, animal models, and increasingly we see it in people. So long haulers, COVID long haulers, uh, people with really weird diseases and conditions and manifestations of conditions um, are just coming out of the woodwork after the vaccine and after the whole COVID uh, process. So because spike protein can damage the inner lining of blood vessels, which is called the endothelium, right? This makes blood vessels more prone to inflammation, clotting, and dysfunction in circulation in general. And so that's why people had chest pain, um, high blood pressure, uh, the microclots, if you've seen those, heart rhythm issues. I actually had that um, after the vaccination. So it can happen after the infection or happen after vaccination. And even the brain, which depends on a finely tuned blood flow, this can be affected leading to brain fog, dizziness, or anxiety. Now, here's the big one. And that explains why so many people feel exhausted. Spike protein disrupts your mitochondria. Those are the tiny little powerhouses. Remember the energy factories that are inside of your cells. So it increases oxidative stress, reduces ATP production, which is your energy, and it impairs the cell's ability clear, to clear out the damaged mitochondria, right? You don't want damaged mitochondria hanging out. You got to get rid of them. So this creates a state of cellular burnout, especially in the brain, heart, and muscles. So if you felt like your body uh, just doesn't run the same way, that's probably why. So your symptoms include anything from crushing fatigue to exercise intolerance, slow recovery from minor stress, depression, apathy, hormonal imbalances, especially in testosterone or thyroid. We thought we had a thyroid epidemic before, now it's even worse. And then the brain is especially sensitive to spike-related damage. Why? because there's a high ACE2 expression in neurons and glia cells. So in the brain, the brain depends on clean mitochondria and vascular flow. And if these are all disrupted because you have a high ACE2 expression there, which means more protein, spike protein is gonna be attracted to that area. And spike can activate micro, uh, microglia. This is the brain's immune system, right? It leads to brain fog anxiety, insomnia, mood swings, cognitive slowdown. And for people already struggling with stress, trauma, or immune dysfunction, this makes that hit even harder. So what does the spike protein do to the body? Well, it hijacks key receptors. It triggers inflammation. It disrupts your mitochondria, damages blood vessels, and inflames the brain. It's just a, a medley of just disasters <laughs> that together, it can be really, really devastating. Even these one of these things by itself uh, can cause major issues in your life. And that's why so many people, even healthy people, feel like something's been off ever since COVID or if they didn't get COVID and they just got the vaccine or if you got both. But the good news is you're not imagining it, okay? And there are ways to recover. 
in the next video, we're going to talk about some cases, some real cases that we've seen, people who went through this, who got answers. And after that, we'll talk about how you can actually clear the spike protein from your system and repair the body. So be sure to subscribe, comment, and share this with someone who needs the info. And I'll see you in the next video.